WWF works closely with the Sabah Forestry Department to align forest management units to the certification by the Forest Stewardship Council, or FSC. This ensures international standards of timber harvesting that is globally accepted. WWF takes part in Sabah's forest management exercises and supports any assistance or investments in forest management that guarantee viable orangutan populations. To help out the restoration program for the state, WWF conducts studies on orangutan distribution in Ulusugama Malura using aerial and ground surveys. Repeated observations of orangutans in logged forests by researchers in Sabah showed conclusively that the largest number of orangutans are in fact in logged forests and degraded forests. Restoring the orangutan habitat does not mean large investments in locking up land, because orangutans can survive in restored forests that are to be managed for timber production. The important point is that the areas with orangutans are not converted to plantations of one species. Besides orangutans, the Sumatran rhinoceros also share the same habitat with the Borneo pygmy elephant in Borneo, especially in Sabah. The Sumatran rhinoceros is one of the world's rarest mammals and is critically endangered. It is the smallest rhino species with not one, but two horns. They are hunted for their horns, believed to have medicinal values in Central Asia. Land clearing and forest fragmentation in Sabah makes it easy for these poachers to operate in areas that were inaccessible before. The ever-dropping numbers of Sumatran rhinos is mainly due to illegal hunting. This small population can only support a small gene pool, which leads to inbreeding. Their distribution in fragmented forests make it difficult for them to meet and breed. Poachers target rhinos for supposed medicinal properties in their horns, which carry a high price on the black market and for other body parts. It is estimated that there are less than 40 rhinoceros left in Borneo. The remaining rhinos are so isolated they may rarely or never meet to breed. A study revealed that a high proportion of female evidently have reproductive tract problems, while many of the remaining rhinos are old and possibly beyond reproductive age. Essentially, the death rate may exceed the birth rate. As this form of rhino, Dicerorhinus, has been around on the earth for about 35 million years, WWF believes we must save the species from extinction. One obvious way forward is to concentrate a few of the remaining wild breeding rhinos into a situation where their chances of breeding are boosted. There is no recent confirmed record of Sumatran rhinos in Brunei, Sarawak or Kalimantan. In Sabah, the distribution of Badak, as it is known locally, keeps shrinking and the numbers have declined alarmingly. The Sumatran rhino has been found in a wide variety of forest habitats, from lowland rainforests and swamps to mountain moss forests. It has been reported to prefer hilly areas near water, particularly steep upper valleys with thick undergrowth, as well as secondary forest where the upper canopy is broken and the smaller shrubs and vines on which it feeds are more numerous. Salt licks are an important habitat requirement of the Sumatran rhino. Weighing around 600 to 800 kilograms, this small rhino stands 1 to 1.5 meters tall at the shoulder and measures 2 to 3 meters in length. It has relatively few skin wrinkles except around the neck. The skin is 16 millimeters thick at its thickest part and usually in dark gray to brown. Like other rhinos, the Sumatran rhino has poor vision. A healthy diet for the Sumatran rhino consists of a great diversity of tropical vegetation. It is a browser that can eat up to 50 kilograms daily of leaves and twigs, of young saplings and small trees. A rhino also feeds on fallen fruits and is reputed to be partial to figs and wild mangoes. It visits natural mineral concentrations, salt licks, possibly to obtain salt and to socialize.
WWF partners with Sabah Wildlife Department, Sabah Forestry Department, the Royal Malaysia Police, and other NGOs to strengthen the enforcement activities in the forest reserves. Protection against poaching is especially important in Borneo because the smaller the size of the remaining population, the less its chances of survival. A natural rhino breeding program is part of the strategy to improve this. Maintaining natural forests, restoring degraded ones, and strengthening the enforcement are vital steps for the continued survival of orangutans, elephants, and rhinoceros in Sabah. Hence, the Sabah government's initiative to retain the largest orangutan population in the Ulu Sagama Malawa Forest Reserves under Sustainable Forest Management, SFM, deserves full support. WWF is working collaboratively with Sabah Forestry Department and Sabah Wildlife Department to address the importance of managing the forest sustainably. WWF envisions a large and continuous forest landscape in Borneo that continues to secure its highly diverse fauna and flora. These natural resources, if managed sustainably, may in the long run provide economic benefits for local communities and the state government. As the day closes to an end, WWF Malaysia urgently needs the continued support of the public, the governments and its partners to realize this dream to protect the natural habitats and endangered species of Borneo.